were, and we're going to wait for my assistant, Al, as he brings it in. How are you doing today, Al? What's, what, what are you wearing? Why are you wearing a dish towel? Uh, you should always cover your head when you're at worship service. Are you Jewish? No, I'm just pretending. Oh, okay. Well, this is a great day to pretend to be Jewish, Al, because this is one of, but you don't, you shouldn't wear a dish towel, though, because today is one of the high holy days in the Jewish calendar. It is Passover. Passover. And it's one of the biggest holidays for Jewish people. We call them Jews. That's okay. And they've been around for a few thousand years, one of the world's oldest civilizations. And this is a very big day for them. It's Passover. And it's a celebration of a wonderful thing that happened. But there was tragedy before then. The Jews lived in the Middle East. They had their own section, their own language, their own religion, and they were believed to be the chosen people of God. Well, the Egyptians didn't buy that. And so they were taken as slaves. We're talking hundreds of thousands of slaves a long time ago. And Jews lived for generations as slaves to the Egyptians, building the pyramids and doing the really heavy work for the Egyptians. Then they believed that God raised from them a person that would lead them out of their bondage, and that was Moses. If you've ever seen the movie, The Ten Commandments, that's about Moses, who looked just like Charlton Heston, apparently. Well, Passover is part of the miracle that saved the Jews and helped Moses lead them to the promised land where they still are today. So it's a very, very good uh, uh, holiday for them. It's been going on a long time. Now in Claremont, there are plenty of Jewish people. They have their own uh, uh, cemetery. They have their own synagogue or temple where they worship. And there have been Jews in Claremont for 200 years. So they're very definitely a part of the community. Many of them will have a special meal tonight, the Passover Seder, and they will eat traditional foods. Do you know what, do you know what uh, there are special uh, dietary laws? Do you know about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some things that Jews aren't supposed to eat. They aren't supposed to eat pork uh, or uh, shellfish and I believe they are not supposed to eat alligators. Are you sure about that? I'm counting on it. Okay, well, you don't have to worry about those people then. But they will have a special meal tonight called the Passover Seder, and they will pour out a glass of wine for the prophet Elijah, because the prophet Elijah comes and celebrates Passover with every good Jewish family. And they will say, next year in Jerusalem, and that will be their observation. Now, it's no coincidence that Easter happens about the same time as Passover. Easter was Jesus' uh, celebration, and he was in Jerusalem for Passover. So the big Jewish holiday and the big Christian holiday happen right around the same time. There you have it. It's Passover. And that is your secret word for today.